Hello there, darlings. How are you doing? It is time to, I'm in the sun. <laughs> it is time to bless and charge the, the magical music room. So um, this is something I try to do at least once a month, maybe twice a month. Um, but what we're gonna do, I've got a little fake candle over here with some of my crystals that every window has crystals around it. <laughs> I love crystals. Um, and I always try to make the space a beautiful place, even though I teach online at the moment. Here's where you usually are, you see my iPad right there. Um, so even though we work online, I think the energy that's behind our lessons hopefully comes through, the, the joy behind learning, the comfortable cozy space that we're in um, virtually, you know. Um, so I gain a lot of inspiration from the space that I'm, I'm in, I know, and I just want want it to be nice and cozy and inspiring and fresh. So I've got all the windows open. I'm going to play a little harp. We'll see what the universe comes up with on the harp. And then we're going to take a little incense. I have some sage. I have some sweet grass and I have some Palo Santo. I think that's what it's called. So we're going to make it smell very interesting in here very shortly. But let's create a nice magical feel in the room to begin with. If you're curious, this harp is tuned in E flat major. I feel like it just is right from the heart. Okay, well, next up, I'm gonna turn you this way and I have a little squeaky chair here. I can't seem to get away from squeaky chairs. <laughs> so um, I've got some lovely, whoops, oh, lovely herbs here or um, incense. There's some sage, there's some sweet grass, and here is the Palo Santo there. The sage is very strong. Um, so we're gonna start with that and then we're going to make it sweet and uh, beautiful. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of this. So hopefully that smells good. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and light the sage first. Hopefully there's some flames left in here. Let this space be filled with magical, fabulous, inspiring vibes. And let's get rid of all of that, you know, stuff that needs to go. Let it go where it needs to go, which is out the window. It's very strong. <laughs> it's very, very strong. Um, I probably lit a little bit too much, but that's okay. I've got three windows in here. I'm gonna turn you this way so you can see this perspective. And um, I'm gonna just let this waft around. Oops. And you know what, let's hope, fingers crossed, that these smoke detectors don't go off. Um, you know what, I think they might. They totally might. So let me put these out the window. This is like um, blessing the sacred space gone wrong. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just them out like this, put it by the window, 
There we go. You know, I actually have a little water that I might just dump stuff on it. So let's see here. Did not prepare very well for this video. Dampen out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> now, next up, yay, the smoke alarms didn't go off. That's good. Next up, we're going to grab my lovely Native American drum. If I can grab that, it lives right up here on the wall. And I'm going to just get up on the couch really quickly and grab this. It can be a little tricky to get. There we go. Remember when I got this, you guys? Oh, goodness. Try and not fall in my harp. <laughs> I think this is the funniest video that I might have ever done. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? That's good because the energy is nice and light and playful. That's exactly what we want. Light and playful. So here we go. Here's the beautiful American, Native American drum, which I love. I'm gonna give it a little hug and thank the drum for blessing our magical space so that we can make music and learn and be fabulous. Let's see. blessing from the drum. There we go. Now next up we've got what should we do next? The um you know what how about we do this palisanto? This is quite strong. It's kind of oh I think I got some on my nose. It's kind of like a cinnamon-ish smell. It's wood. It's wood. It's a sacred wood. So wind's kind of blowing here. Let's again try not to set off the fire alarms. There we go. Just gonna light this a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Ooh, I probably lit it too much. Once again. <laughs> anyway, it's actually got a wonderful like holiday-ish smell. So I'm gonna just go around. I'm gonna go over here this time. I'm gonna get over here. And how about over here? There we go. And how about lastly over here? Isn't that pretty? I love this whole cave love. That's a lovely, lovely smell. And we got one more left to do. One more left to do. So let's see. Um, sweet grass is my favorite. I absolutely love the smell of sweet grass. Um, and oh, you know what? We should do one more little instrument. Let's use this wonderful Navajo rattle. This is a gift from one of my students and it's so beautiful. Um, it's got all these lovely little things on it. And we're gonna just rattle away all that stuff that needs to shake away. So I'm gonna put you over here. And let's go in the corners. So remove the harp. 
put that back here. First, I'm gonna rattle out my little area that I sit in. It might be kind of loud. This is the area that I that I sit in. Not fun. I just love it. I'm gonna rattle out this corner, which is behind you. And this corner over here. And lastly, let's go over to this corner. Thank you, lovely Native American Marauder. All right, let's finish off with some sweet grass. So, sweet grass is wonderful. We can burn a lot of this because I like this one. And I don't think that this one will set off the fire alarms, but let's be careful. So just like that. I just love the smell. It sweetens everything up. There we go. Mmm, I wish you could smell it. And it's lovely with the air blowing through here. It's just so fresh feeling. I kind of want to play some Hildegard von Bingen. <laughs> um, she is wonderful. Her music is wonderful. Mm, lovely, lovely. Well, I think that that's going to be it. Let me finish off with the harp again. We'll just... Maybe we'll play some Hildegard. Let's see if I can remember anything of hers. Or you know what we can do is play the Thecalos Epitaph. You know I love that one. That's the oldest complete song in the world that's been written, <laughs> recorded, at least in the Western world that we have record of. It's from the first century Greece. And it actually was found on a tombstone and the words are as long as you live, shine. Have no grief at all. Life exists only for a short while and time demands its due. And it's in the Mixolydian mode. So it's very joyful, even though it's talking about, you know, death. It was found on a tombstone, so. That's a perfect note to end on. So my lovelies, the musical room has been charged with some happy, joyful energy. I hope that you feel recharged and refreshed as well. Um, it feels very nice to open the windows. Currently it is the end of December 2020 and um, it's a perfect time to do a little spring, well maybe not spring, but um, winter cleaning. Decide what you want to keep with you for the new year and what you want to get rid of what you can leave behind, what you can take with you, doing a little, you know, sweeping, clearing of the energy space. And um, it's my belief that places can, you know, have the remnants of energies. Sometimes, you know, we have bad energy. Sometimes we have really good energy. We're humans. Um, and so it's just nice to do a little energetic cleaning um, like this, or you can probably find lots of really awesome tutorials on how to do that. Um, but anyways, I will see you in your lessons. You can have lessons on Patreon too. I don't teach there, but I do post video lessons there. Um, every week you'll get a little practice video to add to your practice. Currently, right now, 
we're going through all of the scales and we're currently in five sharps. So we are in the key of B major and a G sharp minor. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about it for a second. So um, those are actually quite magical sound, sounding scales in my opinion. They're very heavenly sounding, very light and ethereal. Um, so check that out. Violin tutorial, viola tutorial, and a recording track for you to play along with to add to your practice. There's also the virtual studio circle where you can join us once a month to practice performing or just be there to support others while they practice playing what they've been learning in lessons. They're very fun and very sweet and we'd love to have you there. Um, the, everything is there on Patreon. I also do little you know, updates with what's going on with everything um, every week on Mondays. So if you want like kind of more from the YouTube, um, just check out Patreon. Everything having to do with me is Violin Viola Masterclass. My website, Instagram, Patreon, YouTube, as you know, Violin Viola Masterclass. So I'll see you all soon. I'm teaching a group class in January if you want to join that. It's for violin. It's for Leopold Auer, Graded Course of the Violin Playing Book One. And I'm really excited. I'd love to have you there. It's, it's for beginners. And the Leopold Hour Graded Course of Violin Playing Book One is literally all open strings, but it's the mastery of the right arm technique. So it's awesome. I will love and leave you with that. Happy New Year, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.